Okay, so this is a continuing lecture on data migration. So in this lecture, we'll talk about migrating data from your on-prem virtual machine to your cloud storage. Now, since we do not have an on-prem virtual machine, we'll be creating a virtual machine within GCP. And within that particular virtual machine, we'll be installing something called as an agent. And once we've installed this particular agent, we can transfer data from our source to our destination. So in our case, the source would be again a virtual machine and the destination would be a cloud storage bucket. And in this service, again, we need to use our data transfer service to get this migration done. So let's see how we can do this. So let's go back to our console. So again, we need to go to our data transfer. So let's go to our data transfer service. And here within data transfer, this time, instead of using transfer service across cloud, we need to use transfer service on-prem. So let's open this. Okay, so here the first thing that you need to do is you'll have an agent pool called transfer service default. Now, what we need to do is we need to connect all virtual machines to this particular agent pool. So let's click on go to pool here. And here it will give you a set of instructions that you need. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to create a set of pops up services. So you can just click on this to create the service. You can just click on create resource. So that will automatically create the pops up resource for the transfer. You can see that it has been created. So let's click on continue. And the next thing that you need to do is that particular virtual machine. So this would be an on-prem virtual machine. Within that, you need to install Docker. So we'll do one thing. We'll create a virtual machine, not within an on-prem network, but we'll create a virtual machine within our GCP itself. So let's click on create instance. Let's just create E2 micro. And let's and now the important thing here is that the default service account, you need to allow full access to all cloud APIs. Else, if you just allow default access, it will not work because it needs other set of permissions as well. So you can just click on allow full access and let's create this virtual machine. Okay, now that your instance two is created, let's SSH into it. And the first thing that we need to do again is we need to install Docker. So let's click on these commands and let's execute them one by one. So first thing we'll do is again, we'll just do a sudo app apt get update. Okay, now that's once that's done, let's just clear our screen and let's run these commands one by one. Let's copy this. And once you installed it you can just do a docker to see whether it's been installed you can see that it's been installed so the next thing that you need to do is you need to install this particular command as well so this is just to run a particular docker image so this docker image contains the cloud sdk so you can just click on this and let's run this particular docker image So once this is done, the next thing that you need to do is you can just click on continue and you need to run this particular command to install your particular agent. So let's run this. So let's wait for some time. And after that, let's run this particular agent command. Okay, so now we are installing our agent. So let's wait for this particular install to be finished. So once this particular agent has been installed. Okay, so once this is done, let's go back to our data transfer service and let's try to refresh this. Let's And let's click on connect settings again. And you can see that it's currently connected to one particular virtual machine. And that's basically the instance to that we've just connected to. Okay, now that is done. So the only thing remaining for us to do is just to transfer data. So all that you need to do is click on create transfer job. And here, let's just get started. So what we'll do is we'll transfer data from our virtual machine to our Google Cloud Storage. So that is the source. The source is again going to be a file system within our virtual machine and the destination would be a cloud storage bucket. So let's click on next. So here, let's choose the agent pool. So we've just got that one transfer service default, which has one virtual machine. So let's select this. And the path that we would select would be, so let's go back to our instance once more. Let's click on LS. So let's just do a PWD and let's do an LS minus LART. So what we'll be doing is we'll be copying all these files into a cloud storage. So all that I need to give here is just this particular path. So let's copy this. And let's just paste this particular directory path here. Let's click on next. And let's choose the destination where we want this particular bucket. So let's choose this MyFest bucket. We'll see this, there's already an existing bucket. So let's choose this and let's click on select. And let's click on next. And let's run this particular service. So what is going to happen is that 
all these particular files will be transferred into that particular bucket that we've chosen. Again, the bucket is this particular bucket. So let's click on create and let's run this transfer job. Okay, so you can see that our transfer job has finished. Let's open this. And you can see that so much data has been transferred. So let's go back to our bucket and let's see whether it has got those particular files. Let's refresh this. And you can see that my first bucket has got all the data that was there in this particular file system. So that is how you transfer data from your virtual machine to your cloud storage. Now, I hope this was useful. I'll see you in the next.